Now, Los Angeles has more bed bugs than New York City, so it's not really a surprise that those bugs would make their way onto cruise ships that travel in and out of our ports. Two on your sides, Christine Lazar has more on these cruise ship critters, Christine? You know, when you do this story, you just start itching. Yeah. You think you see them everywhere. And, and now they, they are everywhere. Now, one Ventura County woman tells two on your side that she felt like a prisoner on board that cruise that went through the Panama Canal after she woke up covered in itchy, painful bites. I felt trapped. I felt like I wanted to jump overboard, but I don't swim. 19 days at sea on a luxury cruise was anything but a vacation for Phyllis Domino. It was a nightmare. I don't wish this on my worst enemy. Red, itchy, and angry bug bites up and down her arms and legs and on her midsection. These are photos she took while at sea. How did they feel? Painful, they were swollen, and it was an itch pain. I couldn't scratch them. It was day two at sea on the Island Princess, part of the Princess Cruise Line, when Domino woke up with the bites. She says she immediately notified the ship's staff and a housekeeping supervisor was sent to her room. And she said, was there blood on the sheets? Because if there was, that's bed bugs. I ran back in the room, pulled back the blankets. Sure enough, there was blood. But Domino says housekeeping told her the blood wasn't consistent with bed bug trails. Domino says the staff told her, even though she hadn't been off the ship yet, they were insect bites. The bites were due to the climate, and the blood was due to my scratching. I scratched myself. The cruise staff offered for Domino to see the doctor on board, but she refused. Domino didn't want to pay for the visit and had her own Benadryl and anti-itch cream in her bag. Domino says you can see in these photos taken on the ship that she was in pain. I tried to go to a show. We lasted maybe 15 minutes I had to leave. That's how bad the pain was. I did not even enjoy the meals because I was sick. Her sister, Lainey Miller, was also on the cruise. How was your sister feeling those 19 days? Miserable. She just wasn't having fun. Once back to her home in Ventura County, Domino asked Princess to refund her $4,000 ticket. They refused. In a letter to Domino, they called them insect bites and said no bed bugs were found in Domino's room. They pointed out they granted her request to switch rooms while on board and said she clearly wasn't in that much pain as she used the salon, the casino, and the bars on board. Miller says that's not true. I was the one that went to the salon. Did you go to the bars? No. We didn't go to bars. CBS's travel editor Peter Greenberg says cruise ships have had bed bug infestations just like hotels. Bed bugs are hitchhikers. They basically attach themselves into luggage and they travel along with you. Greenberg says the schedule cruise ships keep makes it difficult to adequately inspect the cabins. When a cruise ship arrives at 7 o'clock in the morning, that only gives the crew about six hours to turn an entire ship that's changing. 2,000 beds and everything else that goes along with it. Greenberg isn't surprised, Princess told Domino, they wouldn't compensate her. Be prepared for the cruise line not to part with any cash, but to offer you a discount on a future cruise, which seems sort of counterproductive. The face is right here. Robert Gallo is the owner of Round the Clock Pest Control and a bed bug expert. He says bed bugs reproduce daily. You can encounter bed bugs pretty much just about anywhere now. Uh, movie theaters, banks, retail stores. The bugs cling on to people's clothes and travel home with them or on to their next cruise. I believe this problem will continue to get worse. I believe at some point bed bugs are going to be just as common as having cockroaches. Princess Cruises tells us they conducted a thorough check of her room and found no evidence of bed bugs and that their rooms are clean twice a day, and that's more than a hotel room. Pat, back to you. All right, thank you, Christine. Now, can Two on Your Side help you? Just email Two on Your Side at CBS.com with your problem or on social media. Use the hashtag Two on Your Side.